Good morning, guardians. The Hijabi Gamer here, a uh, day late and um, right late, um, also for work. But uh, if you've noticed, I already made two other videos. I gotta make this really, really quick because I am late. Um, anyway, this is a weekly reset for yesterday for Destiny One. Um, I was up really, really early, hence why um, I was able to make it this morning. But yesterday I wasn't up so early. So this week for Destiny One, gotta rush this. Uh, I haven't even done challenge yet. I'll probably try and uh, record by you know soloing it later. Mayhem Clash for Crucible. Um, I love mayhem, even though it's crazy and chaotic. Enjoy yourselves, guardians. Embrace the chaos. Usual treasure of ages and legendary marks. Then we got the weekly story playlist. Dark champions. I found that's usually bosses. Um, so like Crota, the the soul, you know, the Crota one, the you know, the crystal basically bosses you have heroic you will always have heroic enemies appear in greater numbers then you got light switch minions of the darkness deal much more melee damage yeah i think that was like blackout in destiny 2 um which they actually um nerfed and then you got specialist special weapon damage is favorite honestly i prefer you know primary weapon because I, I just i favor primary weapons especially with the limitations on secondary i'm a bigger fan of auto rifles, scout rifles, and pulse rifles over shotguns, sidearms, fusion rifles, and the like. Anyway, so that's the that, like I said, best way to uh, farm legendary marks is do weekly story playlist. Then you got the Siva Crisis Heroic Strikes. Not as good a farming source for legendary marks, but you could get like 30 of them. You got Heroic as always, then Specialist. Exposure. My least favorite best thing to do is Red Death. Guardian shields are increased but do not replenish. I hate that one. I hate that one. I really do. Best option is Red Death. That one, like I said, will each kill heals you and speeds up reload. So, best weapon to use against exposure. And then, but I know there's some other options. Let me know in the comments any other things you do to combat exposure. Then airborne players deal more damage while in the air. Also, I know you can like use the checkpoints to your advantage. If you die right after the checkpoint, then it's not a big deal. I just, I really hate exposure. Um, especially if you have someone with you, then they can revive you. But I, I hate exposure. I'm just, I hate exposure. Um, then you got um, the weekly nightfall strike, which is the, it's the, Tanix one on the moon. Um, it's uh, the Shadow Thief, but it is the harder level one. The one with Siva. Um, the one that has. Uh, wait, no, I don't think it's the one with. It's the one with. Um, no, it's not the one with Tanix. It's. The summoning pits. No, it's the summoning pits. Um, my brain froze for a moment. You're dealing with the summoning pits. It's the one where you have... Um, what's his name? Oh my god, Shiro. Shiro is talking you through it. I never was a fan of Shiro. Long story. But this is the one with Shiro and the um, massive ogre that has... Yeah. The abomination heist. Um, the modifiers for this are... Epic, you'll always have epic. Solar burn, solar damage is greatly increased. Small arms, nice. If you have one of those uh, adept weapons, that will be great to have. Um, ironclad, more enemies have shield. And of course, you have exposure. Oh joy, I hate exposure. I really hate exposure. Then, for the challenge of the elders, I haven't done it. I haven't even picked up my thing. Um, catapult, fresh troops, and melee kill bonus. So keep that in keep in mind that the hunter's knife falls under the melee kill. It's important. I've always mentioned this. Use um, if you're playing hunter and you're going with golden gun, use knife juggler because knife juggler will re precision kills with throwing knife immediately resets its cooldown. So you could be constantly throwing your knife every time you get a precision kill. Um, just keep in mind, shanks are not precision kill. Shanks are not precision kill, so don't waste it on shanks. Um, you will not get a precision kill with a shank. So if you throw your throwing knife at a shank, you're, it will not refresh. But um, why is that Vanguard Nightfall? Um, so that's great for the melee kill bonus. Fresh tubes, so you're going to be getting more troops. And what was catapult? I can't remember. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to get to work. Um, and then we have the weekly featured raid, King's Fall. Um, I did see someone invited me to Wrath of the Machine. I think it was on 
Sunday, but I was already in a party with someone else. But I really want to do King's Fall because I need to get the touch of malice. As you know, for you to the Elder Sigil, you need to pick up from Varix. Um, I am very sorry to rush through this. Like I said, it's been a rough week. It's, it's going to be rough these next couple of weeks because of the holidays. Um, I got to get to work by 6 and it is 5.42. So um, this is a basic rundown. I will try and do more when I get back from work. Um, anyway, sorry about it. I uh, hope to see you around. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the tower.